Ah, okay. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I was trying to make this switch as seamless as possible. No dice today. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Oh my goodness me. Let me just... Ugh. I feel like I'm gonna have to do a lot of talking today, so... I refilled my water bottle. It is full of enslaved moisture. I'm good to go. Mm. Happy Ike Day, by the way. <laughs> yes, indeed. What we decided on... Was it a year ago or two years? I feel like it's, it has to be a year ago. But we decided that November 19th was in day E Ike no Hi. Which is good Ike Day. Or just Ike Day. So, <laughs> yay, happy Ike Day. So if anybody is confused, no, it's not my birthday. My birthday is... You, you, you should know this. You should know when my birthday is, and it's not in November. <laughs> so, yay. And today, we're doing Coffee Talk. I know close to nothing about this game, but I remember being recommended it ages ago by someone I don't remember. I don't remember who recommended this to me. Actually... Okay, I think I might have gotten this recommended to me a few years ago on kind words of all games. So I, I think I was just reading letters that one day or like sending out letters and just asked people like, hey, what is your fam favorite video game that just makes you happy? And I think this was one of the things that was uh, recommended. So it's just been sitting in my Steam library ever since. I think I just bought it and then just kind of forgot about it. But now, a few years later, here we are. And uh, I still don't know who the anonymous person was that recommended this to me in kind words over a little letter. But I'm finally trying out your suggestion. Wherever you are, hope you're doing great. <laughs> comfy vibe at your service? This does seem like comfy vibes. We got a little bit of like lounge jazz or lo-fi if you, if you would be so inclined going on already. Should I assume that this is in Seattle? <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm very bad at landmarks. <laughs> but, oh my god, there's so many super chats coming in from everybody. Thank you. Thank you all so, so much. All right, without further ado, what do you guys say? Shall we get right into it? I actually don't know if there's any gameplay to this or if it's just a visual novel. It it just remains to be seen. What is your name? Barista. Or barista, I guess, you, the way you say it. Ah. It's ya boy, Ike. Is I correct? Yes. Alright, so what do we got here? Ooh, oh, look at these. Oh, there's a coffee talk too? I did not know that. You can mod it too? Oh, can you make like custom... Custom guests to this? Oh. Okay, that's interesting. All, all of a sudden, my brain is, like, starting to loop, and I'm j just starting to think, like, hmm... No, but you can make latte art? Really? But what's the mod thing, then? I'm kind of curious. Mod Amiku? I hate that you guys instantly knew what I thought of. I hate that. Can you stop reading me for, like, two seconds, please? <laughs> Ugh. Chat like streamer. <laughs> no, because we would too. Okay, so that makes me feel a little bit better. I made latte art of the Quildrum ones. That's adorable. Thank you for doing that. All right. There we go. So let me just get my keyboard a little bit comfortable. And let's jump into this and see what happens. I... 
very much blind. Oh, got an achievement for starting the game. Okay, so it is Seattle. Seattle three years ago. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time where the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left for the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have, been, have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. I'm loving the art and the fact that it's in a, like, a little box like this. It reminds me of, uh, uh, I think it was the PC-98, where some of the first visual novels ever were produced on, where they were limited to, what was it? Like, th like what, I don't know exactly what color depth it was. If it was 16-bit or 32-bit, but it, it, it's basically very high-quality pixel art, and it looks pretty gorgeous. It, it has this very sort of nostalgic aesthetic to it, because all, not only does it have, like, the old 90s anime aesthetic, it also has the pixel art aesthetic, so it, it's two invocations of nostalgia at once. It's really, it, it's really a vibe. I recommend you look up some of the uh, PC-98 CGs from back in the day. Hey, Merryweather! What's up, Mary? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're having a good time, my dude. Also, if I'm a little bit sniffly, I'm so sorry. It's just... Eh, winter air is very dry. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is open... Only open when the sun is sleeping place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Oh, rain. They know how to set the... Mm, they know how to set the mood. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Welcome... Oh, it's you. Freya. Hey, Ike. How's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? M what happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Yeah, that's a bum That's a bummer. <laughs> don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. <laughs> That's good to hear. Anyway... <laughs> oh my god, I even say anyway. <laughs> anyway, let me set up things first. You're our first customer, after all. <laughs> Don't worry. Take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. Alright, al already I like them. So, I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? 
Do you remember my plan to... Uh... Ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Oh god. I struggled a lot with this last time that I had to be a barista. Triple shot, wow. I don't drink, drink espresso. Is that a lot? That sounds like a lot. It is a lot. Yikes. Mio, I saw that. I saw that that triple Baka scroll by. Just know that I appreciate you. <laughs> Alright. Let's have a look. Where's my phone? Tomodachi, brew pad, new stories, and shuffled. I am so prog that I listen to concept albums on shuffle. Okay, brew pad, I assume. Okay, cafe latte, cappuccino, espresso, here we go. Blacker than a moonless night. Hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Yikes. Okay. Are you not gonna tell me how to make this? I guess, I guess not, huh. Uh... No, this is just like a social... ...messaging app. Alien Delight, Caffeine, Boost Dominated by Milk. Warm, Calming Darkness. Both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart. That, I love that. A hint of bitterness for the heart. The ingredients are listed. Oh yeah, coffee, coffee, coffee. There we go. Listen. Listen here. What you gotta understand is... That boy is stupid. That is all I have to say about that. Alright. Let's see. Coffee. Coffee and coffee. I guess we just brew this. Seems simple enough. The game is so comfy that it's almost turning my brain off. Let's see, espresso. Serve it! One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ugh. Exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? I concur wholeheartedly. Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case th things go awry. <laughs> uh, did I say something funny? <laughs> no, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. They are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So, naturally, I pitched my book idea. Also, did you know that Kingdom Hearts was literally pitched this way? Hmm. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? 
Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, they had seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'd pull some strings. <laughs> and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great! What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during the office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the Chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Oof. It's just like me for real, for real. Huh. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it... I decided to just delete everything immediately. It's okay, I have been there. Too many times. So, zero. <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it, at most, in like two weeks. Then I'll use some of the, the extra week to do some editing. It sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some uh, inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know? Really? <laughs> Glad this place could be of service. Aw, oh, it's just like my stream. Oh, looks like someone's coming. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. I'm not planning to be awake all night, so definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. I fully agree. I wholeheartedly agree. Rainy weather, hot chocolate, peak. Absolutely peak. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. All right, what are we feeling? Are you feeling dark chocolate? Just like chocolate, chocolate, chocolate? Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. You want to know something? I used to work at a place a long time ago. Uh, back before, you know, this, this whole thing. <laughs> Where it was very physically demanding, but we had a lounge, and every t uh, every day after work, in that lounge, um, I w I was on a shift that was kind of um, I was always the first one out. Basically, I I wanted to go home very very quickly, but we had a lounge with a sort of coffee machine, and this coffee machine actually knew how to make uh, you could actually make hot chocolate there, and. Uh, I always made it a, a point, even though I wanted to go home so badly, to stop by in that lounge and sit down and have a cup of hot chocolate. And it was always empty. It was always just me there, and it felt kind of nice. So I would just sit there, flip open my phone, and I'd start texting friends or whatnot, and be like, Hey, your boy just got out of work. 
anybody up. And then I would go home and like, I don't know, play Minecraft or something. <laughs> Could you bring it home though? No. The cups were very tiny. They were tiny little paper cups. So I finished them right there and then... And then I just uh, made my way home. Flip phone? It wasn't a flip phone. I just... <laughs> I just used that word. Haphazardly without thinking. Alright, let's brew this thing. All right, dark chocolate. Let's serve it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. It's so warm. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Ouch, come on. Considering it's the only coffee shop that is still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you do mention it... Is it good for business, having co a coffee shop only open at night? <laughs> Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. There's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. More places need to think like this. There's plenty of times when I will fly up in the middle of the night and have a random craving for something. There's nothing more depressing than opening my phone, going over to the delivery app, just to see that everything is closed. There's no 24-hour, like, delivery thing. If I want something late at night, my best shot is like to like jump in a car and find a 24-7 McDonald's, which is a lot easier said than done. It's only when I have like either like just like I'm borrowing a car for any reason in case somebody needs it. That's what combinis are for? Yeah, but Sweden is we, we don't really have combinis. Well, we do have gas stations, but number one, the prices are always jacked up like crazy there. And uh, I don't live near a gas station. <laughs> Everything closes at 9 p.m. the latest. Seems about right. So, I love that the, the Ike in this game is thinking about this. Because sometimes you just want to stop by a coffee shop late at night. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? See, I have a novel... Like, I have a side gig where I would write novels and stream on YouTube. <laughs> That's the secret. I care is damn rich. That's the secret. <laughs> I'm ballin'? Ayo, am I ballin'? Oh. Really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. I can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. I feel the thing about working best at night. Not so many options for that. Huh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? <laughs> Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Is the game too loud, by the way? 
can't I can't really look at how uh, how loud the the music is. A little. You guys got it. Don't worry about it. I will turn it down for you. Like so. There we go. Hopefully that's better. Oh, is the BF here? Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Would you like to order something? Mm, surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any premfrists, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake. With milk. Oh, and draw some latte art at the top. You know, for somebody that said surprise me, you that's just... That's surprisingly specific. Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on top. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see. Both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart. I'm feeling green tea latte. So we... Like, one green tea and two milk, right? Green tea. Double milk. And, uh... I guess we just brew that and make some latte art. Oh, latte art? Ooh! I've never done latte art before. Oh, dang. I would love to see Uki play this. Okay, poor milk. Ooh, this is so cool. Perfect. Serve it. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. <laughs> Here's your order. This won't help, help me stay awake. But at least it's got milk. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah? I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh, my. Where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Ooh. Next collabo cafe menu. Oh my god, could you imagine that? Could you imagine Ike latte art? And then just E. Well done, Evelyn. Thanks. Hmm. Lua is a nice name? I agree. Lua is a nice name. I used to script in Lua. I don't really remember how to do that anymore, though. E. Vudanto no matcha latte. E. Jan. I like that. Copyright it. Trademarked it. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I am Mike. Hey, did you know that Freya here, Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and an illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Mona Kansei san, arigatou gozaimasu. Korabo cafe desu, sore dete kitara, warau. Yeah, I, I would laugh too, but hey, it could be funny. It could be funny and it could sell, who knows? Oh, <laughs> really? 
No, he isn't. <laughs> I have dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he is in design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. <laughs> of, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How <laughs> do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Ah, they're easy to handle. That's because we are good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skills, though. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. I love the way the dialogue is written. It feels very natural. Should we move to, move to other seats too? Nah, here's good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. <laughs> I thought your boss was supposed to be a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today was even happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your la uh, latest client? Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her. But that won't help me one bit. <laughs> you should make a meme about her. <laughs> Lose my current project for a minute of laughter? Might be worth it. Bailey's my man. <laughs> like Barista just standing man emoji? Hey, I'm enjoying this. You should ask Ike about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need to get your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Ooh. You're not gonna get that? Your parents? Yes. So you talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. I wonder what happened. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. Ooh. Yikes. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm say staying at Farron's place right now. They kicked you out? <laughs> you don't have to do this, you know? They're your family. I can't stand even one more second of being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they s said about you last night. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About immortality. About how, even if I outlive you... What? <laughs> Nothing. About how, if you outlive me... No other elves would want to be with an elf? That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? 
That's exactly what they said. So this is it, then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will, ne will never agree. We can just continue like this. <sighs> what do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? You want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. You won't get your permission because you're quote-unquote too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. <sighs> Making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Mm. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! Mm. I'm sorry you had to listen to her problems. That's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm that can calm me down? You like green tea lattes? Like the one you just had because I'm an idiot? <laughs> green tea lattes? I'll take one. See, yeah, green tea, milk, milk. There we go. Okay. Okay, latte art. What do we do this time? Hmm. Hold on a second. I'm gonna need a reference for this. I'm gonna need a reference for this. <laughs> you guys already know what I'm gonna draw. Dang it! The fact that you already know! Alright, let's see if I... I'm gonna use this... reference. And see, and see how it goes. Okay. This is a lot harder than it looks. What does invert do? Dang, I have so much respect for people that can do this. This is surprisingly hard. Yikes. Okay, hold on. I got this, I got this. <laughs> this is going terrible. <laughs> Let's reset. Let's try this again. Okay, let's maybe start with that. And then... No, I'm pouring milk again. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. We're getting there. Kind of. Maybe. That's kind of... Eh, close enough. Uh, it's a little bit high, but... Mm, nope. That did not work. Okay. I'm determined to get it right at least once. Okay, maybe I should start from down here instead. That's a lot of milk. You know what? Maybe I should give this up. <laughs> I'm not an artiste. I'm not meant for this. Let's do something simple instead. Try and make a scuffed heart. See if that works well. Not the most pretty thing in the world, but I made it with love. That counts for something, right? I really want to see Uki play this. I just know that they would do so well. Ah, uh, it's so scuffed. I was doing well earlier. You know what? I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna call this a cloud formation heart. So if you ever looked up at the clouds and you saw a funky little formation, it made, it made a heart once. Here's your green tea latte with several instances of fed latte art. Bon appetit, my guy. This is good. <laughs> Thank you for this. It's a good thing that latte art doesn't affect the taste, because then I'd be out of a job. By the way, are you married? <laughs> uh, no. Me? <laughs> no. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But... I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. Ah, uh, we have another sip. I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretensions, immoral douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under th until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. I hope they end up okay. Oh no, Freya, are you good? Freya! You were listening from the corner? Yes. 
poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close up the shop after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. The Grinch. Green, spicy, and not everyone's cup of tea. I can see why. <laughs> the Grinch. That's such a funny name we're calling it. Okay, I can already tell that the character writing in this is very, very charming. Um, out of curiosity, uh, out of everybody in chat right now, who has played this game or watched somebody play it before? I'm curious. Okay, okay, so quite a few. Follow-up question, because I know I'm always curious about this when there's games like this. How many of you had a moment when you were meeting the characters where you were just like, Oh no. Oh no, this character. I'm gonna fall for this one, aren't I? <laughs> yep, 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 yeah, okay. <laughs> Like chat, like streamer. Ah, <laughs> uh, a lot of times, really now. Mm. <laughs> it always happens with games like this. Wednesday, September 3rd, 2020. The art style is so nice. It is, isn't it? I'm Pan. I'll fall for everyone. <laughs> oh, the Pan struggles, isn't it? Oh, oh, the evening whispers. Here we go. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Okay. Seattle groceries dis distribution problems harm local restaurants. Hmm. FIRE plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Oh, Jesus. Okay. First customer? Hey, Freya's back. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? I'm willing to bet that it's going to be kind of a love story based on the, uh, the situation from last night. Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay. Okay. Just... Tell me, what are you going to write about? This coffee shop. Oh. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? <laughs> yes. What if I say you can't do that? <laughs> I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax. I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. Knife Walker novel versus movie. Oh, Knife Walker novel versus movie level of loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm... That's already very different, you know? 
You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? <laughs> Blade Runner? Yeah. I actually haven't seen the new Blade Runner, but I hear that it's really good. No, you can't. Although, you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. What? I'm <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. <clears throat> so, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes changes between sor source material and adaptation can be a good thing. Sometimes it leads to really interesting takes on stuff. For example, The Shining. The movie, The Shining, is very different from the book. It goes in a lot of very different directions and doesn't really follow the thing all too closely. Changes characters and all that stuff. But, and this is gonna be very spicy coming from me as a novelist, but I think that the changes made to the movie version of The Shining improves the story. Because I have tremendous amounts of respect for Stephen King, but when you write that much, as, he, uh, as the man does, not everything is gonna be a slam dunk. And sometimes it can be nice to have a fresh set of eyes to look over your work and see what can be changed and possibly improved, and I think Stanley Kubrick was able to do that. I know that Stephen King doesn't share my opinion and think thinks that the movie is not that great at all. In fact, he hated it so much that he made his own version. But hey, that's where I stand on it. it doesn't happen very often. I'm usually very much a source material kind of guy. The movie is phenomenal. It absolutely is. The Mist is a great example. Even the novel author was um, mad I didn't think of the movie any because it was so good. <laughs> Funnily enough, that's Stephen King right again. And also, that was Frank Darabon doing The Mist, the same guy that did the Shawshank Redemption. So, the guy clearly knows how to uh, adapt literary works. Also, if you ever watch The Mist, try to watch it in black and white. That was that's how the movie is intended to be watched. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Oh, hello there. Georgie? Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, I no need to be so formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. You're as stiff as ever. Hey! Oh, you guys really like this guy. <laughs> Look over and I just see Georgie, my man! Anyway, I have a shift tonight. So, I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I am out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomodachi prof profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, cup of sweet. Healthy coffee, please. Hey. If you're a real lactose intolerant kind of guy, you will drink that regardless. Cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Okay, so let's have a have a look here. Okay, how would I make sweet? Oh, so it's undiscovered. I have to experiment on my own. Okay. Now, how would I sweeten things up without using milk? 
sweet and healthy coffee. What do we got here? Honey and ginger. And do I have sugar anywhere? It doesn't look like it. Milk's off the table. Uh, okay, right now it's just warm and bitter. But now it's sweet. Okay, but it's more bitter than sweet. So, let's reset. Let's try double honey. There we go. Cup of sweet, healthy coffee. I feel like this should work, right? Or is that too sweet, maybe? Let me see. Okay, so we can't use chocolate here. Let's see, ginger. Oh, that just ups the warmth and bitterness. Okay, so let's, let's just go this. This is sweet, sweet coffee. I feel like that should be pretty decent, right? Let him brew. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this one. Let's have a look here. Honey coffee. Hmm. Is he gonna like this? Is he gonna like this? I wonder. Hmm. I guess there's only one way to find out. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Let us go. Thank you. <laughs> Let him brew. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. And provide me with a service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. <laughs> the one and only espresso. The one and only? Boom, boom, boom. Jesse, we have to brew, Jesse. Starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. Damn! Damn! Sheesh! Okay, it's a good thing, like, the in-game Ike is not serving me. I would swoon at that. Riz. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. I mean, I would have taken it as. <laughs> Mm. This is perfect. So how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her work hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? Not you guys saying Barista. It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Do I look like my name is Ezio? Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes, it, messes this up, though. Yes, thank you for the reminder. So, yeah, as Ike said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. 
so technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. <laughs> hey, you do it all the time, too. <laughs> Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. Good old Fika. It's always time for Fika break. As we say in Swedish, a Fika pause. Mm. <sighs> but still, <laughs> coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. <laughs> Just don't mention that you like to do other things during work hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. You have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What'll it be about? The coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. Uh, you're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. That's wrong. Please don't write any shade about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside of the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> oh, we'll definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Is that a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? I would call it a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Ike is probably more worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll drama dramatize most of the things that I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Okay, but here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. Nope, nope, no. Nope. You helped me once with one of the stories that I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker? The one who's always playing his guitar? Always got a rose with him? Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. You took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, that rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl has been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know her what her deal is. She has bright green hair. Oh, come on! I was excited to hear about something real. <laughs> you think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. <laughs> hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. <laughs> By the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spent a lot of my time here, I guess? And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're 
going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. It's happening to them. It happens to a lot of people. Hmm. That's so... Eh. I hate that. I think anybody should be allowed to love anybody. It's not for any family to get in the way of. If there's a cultural difference, that's... It's just an opportunity for learning. Heck, Lord knows that there's plenty about cultures that I don't know, but I'm always willing to learn. And if you have somebody like a significant other that is willing to teach you, then isn't that the best way to learn? It's been told in fictional form countless times before. And it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Ike being the standard part, a lot of numbers. <laughs> I'm not real, not really. If like if you're looking at me and just being and hearing me say that and being like, yes, this is the standard. This is peak. This is great. This is great. Then uh, I'm sorry to say the bar is in hell. I accidentally clicked off the game. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients. You have raised my standards so high, what do you mean? Okay, <laughs> that I think you're giving me a little bit too much cred in that case. Helping her friend sober up, I guess. Gave people coffee to sober up? <laughs> of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm. Good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh, yeah. Come go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. <laughs> Can't promise you that. Okay then, see you later everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later! I like Georgie, he's funny. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Ooh, you're just the best, Ike. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. I like this. If only being a barista was actually like this, where you just get to have comfy vibes late at night and just listen to the stories that people have to tell you, have regulars and whatnot. And then when you actually go into coffee shops or Starbucks and you can just see the baristas fighting for their lives. Hmm. That should do for the experiment. Oh, someone's coming. Oh, hello. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, Ike. Oh, <clears throat> can I do deeper? <clears throat> Hi, Ike. Can we sit here? I'm sure thing, sir. Hmm. Is this the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but. Gala, it's fine. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. 
Anything with coffee and ginger? Okay, say less. Let's see, coffee, ginger, and what about we throw in some honey? Let's see what we get with that. Why does your voice for hide almost the same as every other people I see playing this game? Who's hide? <laughs> Isn't I, I assume that's the other guy. I don't know. I just saw pale and I thought like vampire and I felt that having a sort of a pitch pattern that constantly feels like it's descending would feel quite appropriate for the character. I don't really know what accent I'm doing though. <laughs> Servant. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. I'm not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Okay, which means the same thing again. You got it. Here you go. Serve it. Here's your order. Hmm. Good choice. Anyway, how's the Trotton Town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? Uh, we opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. And from what I gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? Hmm. I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. Yeah. Hey, uh, <clears throat> He travel, travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume? You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken... The peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in... 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? <laughs> no, we met in, 19, in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, uh, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met. Yep, when it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh... You're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> Nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? I would hope not. I certainly hope not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a good thing the, the name is Ike. Ike is Ike. <laughs> Ike is Ike real. Rinkustane. <laughs> yeah, we just completely linked. Fourth wall is in shambles. There was never any fourth wall. It was me all along. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? 
kind of with the news about that newfound virus going viral. Whoops. <laughs> hey, that's still going on, my guy. The hospital's been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one's sure about that, but most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. They're still doing the same job as the la as the sa in the same hospital. What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still at hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for the loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. <laughs> to each their own. 2020 is just a blip in, in the memory. 2020 existed. Honestly, 2020 feels like it doesn't exist. It feels like it didn't happen. It's like a giant gap in my memory. I'm trying to think, what did I do in, in the year 2020? I'm like, what even happened? Like, sometimes I think that I got into Nidisanji in 2020, but I'm just like, no. That was a year later, Ike. Okay, can I say something that's gonna be a little bit messed up? And I feel like you guys are gonna be a little bit, like, judgmental of me if I say it. Obviously, a lot of bad stuff happened in 2020 and, like, lockdown sucked a lot. But as a person who stays inside a lot and doesn't go outside a lot... I... I kind of... I kind of miss... I kind of miss lockdown and quarantine because... A lot of people I know was were always around. Everybody just stayed inside. I could like we all just sort of sat down and ordered food, watched things in the Discord server, and we played Minecraft and all that jazz. Okay, so it's not just me. <laughs> it's it's really stupid. Like you shouldn't you shouldn't feel nostalgic and be like, oh my god, I I miss when we were all in quarantine because of a global pandemic. But here I am. I I'm also very conflicted about feeling that way about it. Hey, at least we got some sort of, like, positive stuff out of it. Like, a lot of workplaces were... started opening up for remote work. Especially for, like, voice actors. Because I imagine that in the past, like, the... the way to do things is always to drive to a studio or whatnot. But now that remote recording for, like, games and shows... became, like, a thing during COVID... then I feel like... A lot of people all over the world could participate in projects and they don't have to live in like certain parts of the world in order to be even be considered like LA or Texas. Okay, let's continue. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They could just order blood through that marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast get their supplies from the hospital. They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospital and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah? How's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking, by going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working to make a kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? Uh, more or less, yeah. Is it expensive? 
It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they are still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good if mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampire pre vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although, some do try to experiment with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some that mix it with not-so-legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly... Hmm? Your monthly fury? Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. Hmm. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you order coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine and coffee for it to be a remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too... Uh, general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some were werewolves need to do... kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. What kind of kinky? Like BDSM. That only happens in porn. <laughs> Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty, pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the fury. What the hell am I reading? I'm trying not to react to it as to, to like maintain the immersion. But this is really <laughs> embarrassing to read out loud. I'm sorry. This is really, really embarrassing. I was trying. I tried to keep a straight face. I tried so hard to keep a straight face, but I can't. <laughs> what is this game? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Game face on. Let's let's keep going. Exactly. So, continuing with your story. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like uh, tea, maybe. You better write it down. You don't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. But the next time you're visiting... Maybe I can try a brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. Hmm. I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I will go back now as well. We can share a cab. Alright. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So, I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Okay, was I the only one that sensed- Like, I was- I know that one of them is married, right? One of them is married, right? But was I the only one that was kind of- I wasn't the only one noticing that, right? The 
attention? Yeah! You're absolutely not. Okay, so it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me. Dude. They felt like exes? Oh. Oh, I didn't think about that. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe maybe that explains it. Aoi-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Kofi dai desu. Thank you for the stream. Thank you so much. I thought they were dating. I thought so too, but then one of them men mentioned marriage, and I was just like, okay, maybe not. But then, then it kept going, and I was like, what the hell is this tension? You can cut this with a knife. Also, question. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know how many of you went full immersion. How many of you prepared coffee for this stream? I want to know. Come on, lay it on me. Me, 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 I did, I did. Me, me, me. Okay. <laughs> A lot of you. I appreciate you. Dang, I should have done that. <laughs> Maybe next time. I don't really drink coffee. I just have chai tea lattes. Dang, maybe I should order one. I don't really know if, like, the coffee shops around my area do delivery. I accidentally took a screenshot of my freaking phone. Okay, do you guys, guys want to know something funny? Sorry to get sidetracked again. I'm, I'm just in a very talkative... Ugh, excuse me, I'm just in a very talkative mood today, so... Maybe instead of maybe instead of just talking to the guests in the game, I, you guys get to talk to me too. I'm not apologizing, <laughs> but I have a collection on my phone of just screenshots I have taken by accident, and I haven't deleted them because they're fun to like just look at sometimes and be like, "Hey, how did I how did I accidentally like take a screenshot of this?" It's because the, whenever I hold my phone, I always hold it in a way where I find myself resting my fingers on both the volume button and the lock screen button. So I keep accidentally pressing both of them at the same time, all the time. Let's see. Let, let me look at my latest screenshots. What do we got here? Uh... We have me accidentally screenshotting myself watching a House MD clip. Me accidentally screenshotting myself watching Dragon Ball Z abridged. Me accidentally screenshotting myself ordering sushi. Me accidentally screenshotting a YouTube stand-up comedy routine. Me accidentally screenshotting Twitch. <laughs> me accidentally screenshotting a meme involving the Mario Kart lick. Me screenshotting my lock screen. Me screenshotting a tweet about poor design while at the same time watching a video about Pokemon. Me screenshotting my lock screen again. Me screenshotting myself watching a Smash Brothers clip while my screen is rotating. So the entire thing is slightly askew. Me accidentally screenshotting a Haka clip. Me accidentally screenshotting my lock screen again. Me accidentally screenshotting a Vocaloid video. Me accidentally screenshotting a, po a Pokemon streamer doing shiny hunting. Me accidentally screenshotting somebody playing Skyrim. And me accidentally screenshotting my lock screen now. <laughs> I'm a disaster. And these keep going, by the way. These keep going for years. The lock screen is a popular pick. It's because I keep accidentally doing while picking up my phone. <laughs> Not you guys bringing out the cameras for this. The Haka clip is crazy, bro. Hey, I like watching my boy. Hmm.
Mm. Okay, let's continue. Are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys. Kinda reminds me of a video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. Ugh, never mind. Uh, you... I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. What? I'm funny. You're really bad at it. Ow! Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get... Let's Please don't forget to get some rest. Forget to get. That's hard to say. Forget to get. Forget to get. Forget to get. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. Yeah, it seems a little bit like a tongue twister. Is that bacon? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> Maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> Whoops. Um, not me looking at a churro and just immediately thinking bacon. Hey, there was a candy cane in the previous thing that they showed here. I don't think that a that a strip of bacon in coffee was that that much of a stretch if there was a candy cane. Warm and cozy, just like a day in Barcelona. Is it Barcelona or Barcelona? I don't know. I'm bad at doing like the 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 lisped pronunciation. Bacon and coffee? Are you okay? <laughs> I am hungry. Can I have a cup of bacon? Come and ride up. September 24th. Okay, let's see. Despite uh, losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Super Smile's, huh? Vlogging is now part of the curriculum at some private high schools. That sounds like a nightmare. Stop workplace racial profiling. Orcish workers union demands. Jesus. Super Junior? Oh my god, was that a Super Junior reference? Welcome. Yo. A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Okay, honey milk. So is that two milk and... or two honey? Let's see. Honey milk, eh? Hey, looks about right. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. Oh. Oh. There's Freya. Hey, Ike. Seems like there's a cat. Oh my god, she got in with me! Hello! Cute! Relax. It's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Ha! Whoa! Hi, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy! <laughs> you look like you've just seen a ghost. N no, I mean... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw Neko Mimi transforming. They're actually called Neko Mimi. 
<laughs> I looked over at Chad and I just saw, saw oh my god, women! Women! <laughs> We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Nekomimi friends. <laughs> I won't say I have. You folks are you usually use your feline form to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. Than commuting as a hu- I mean, that's commuting in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No, milk and nothing else. Alright, I can respect that. Okay. Just because I'm curious... Nekomimi te ego de tsujiru no? Um, depends. Nekomimi can translate pretty decently into uh, into English if you're speaking to the right person. If somebody knows about like uh, like uh, a lot of Japanese uh, sort of uh, like pop culture uh, tropes, such as like the animal ears. There's a high likelihood if you say, like, Neko Mimi, then people will understand. Or, even if you just say, uh, instead of saying a cat girl, you can, or a cat boy, you can just say, like, oh, they're a Neko character. Then people will know that, oh, you mean with the ears and everything. It's an otaku term? Yes, it's very much an otaku term. Anime to ka shiteru hito nara wakaru n da. So, 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 so. Otaku ni tsutawatteru koto ne. So, so, so. If, if they're, if they're in a otaku, they'll probably understand it. Otherwise, you can just say, like, oh, cat girl, cat boy, cat person, or, like, cat ears. But a lot of people, they just said, oh, the neko mimi or kemono mimi. Fresh milk? The lady with a pretty smile. Barista. Nyaruhodo hotte. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like do? Let me try that again. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Uh, you don't look like a grown-up. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I've been told that in my life. What? I'm 18. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are, are, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or if you're in danger, blink twice. Really? The cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> snob? Ah, <sighs> part of the broke but woke movement, I see. What the heck is that supposed to mean? You must be the broke part. W the girls are fighting! What is going on here? I don't see you ordering any drinks. <laughs> what, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> She, 
<laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh, uh, really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order? Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? <laughs> so, what do you want to order? Usual. I- okay. You know what I respect about Freya? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because I order the same crap almost wherever I go. Doesn't matter, like, if it's a restaurant, if it's a coffee shop, if it's a pizzeria. I have my huge, and I stick to my huge. There's even, like, a... There's a burger place that I order from quite frequently. And... Uh, they, they know me at this point. They know who Ike Evelyn is. So there's been so many times where I keep getting like a phone call that they're that they're here and just that I need to go down and like open the door and like let them in. And whenever I pick up the phone, they're just like, what's up, Ike? I'm here with your food. <laughs> he, he's so chill. Hmm. It's so- it's so nice to become, like, a regular. It's kind of like- rem it reminds me of when I was very young before I got here. And, uh, occasionally, um, Papa Ike would tell me stories about a tavern he used to frequent. And whenever he would show up there, uh, the people running the place would always quickly pass a note to the kitchen. And they would always just nod at him and know that, like, we know you're here, we're preparing your order. I think that's kind of neat. Alright, so, the huge Coffee, coffee, coffee. Let's serve that. Your espresso is ready. As good as usual. <laughs> Glad you like it. Wait, wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Oh, is she an idol? Zinni, thank you for the five gifted. Are you Rachel Fl Floren Florencia? Member of Super Smiles who just graduated? Oh! Okay, so it's not a Super Junior reference. It's just an idol group. And started her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk? <sighs> I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a sa famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. <laughs> Yay, achievement unlocked! Achievement unlocked. Reach a certain point of the story. <laughs> the moment she said that, I actually got an achievement. You guys heard that, right? <laughs> no, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you, you know, the usual young folks prog problem. I had a fight with my father, and so here I am. Ah, uh, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Now I'm really worried. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Oh my god, my ear is very itchy. Bro, I need more flex tape for the to fix the fourth wall again. Oh yeah, that was a lot of damage to the fourth wall right there. Anyway, what happened? My dad, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? 
What are her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Oh, okay, four people on screen at once. I want to know more about this person. Good evening, Ike. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. <laughs> just kidding, Freya. The moment Georgie shows up, everybody in chat is like, Yeah! Georgie, let's go! Anyway, Ike. Yes, officer. I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Georgie, my man, say less. Let's see. Green tea. Lemon. Honey. Boom. Cough syrup. <laughs> Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? <laughs> it's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cough syrup. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Kinyako-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Idol neko-chan no milk dai. Arigatou gozaimasu. Hai, shichousha-san kara no milk desu. Dozo. Let's see whether this milk ta- I'm thinking about milk now. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn, this is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on the patrol? What actually works as cough syrup? I mean, I guess so. Yeah, anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. <laughs> tell me, tell me! Are you sure you want to hear it? Yes! The scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. Seriously? Yeah, today's pay- today's payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, and the labor union protest, everything's fine though. How can you say it's fine? A young celebrity lurking around her by herself. Ain't that strong proof of this area's being safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Damn! I wanted to know more about them! Who the hell was that? She just kind of sat there and read. You know, maybe you should take a note or two. That's usually how people mind their business. I'm pretty sure that's normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that when you're here writing. Yes, you're right. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of when I went to Starbucks in Japan. Just kind of uh, went there when they were cleaning my room. So I just had to go outside for a little bit while they did their thing, where they just clean things and sw uh, switch the sheets and everything. So I just hit up a local Starbucks, sat down there, had my chai tea latte, and just did, did a little bit of scrolling and having a sip. It was very quiet. Nobody really talked. Everybody just kind of sat there and did work. I did go there with Chu and Sunny at one point too. Where Sunny was just like, hey, I'm gonna do some work. You guys want to tag along? And we just kind of went, like, yeah, sure. We all got ourselves a little bit of an order, sit, sat down, and we all did work. It's pretty neat. Comfy stuff. It's not chai tea. It's like saying tea tea. Hey, on the menu, it said chai tea latte. 
I am just saying what it said on the menu. I know chai tea is like saying tea tea. I am saying what was on the menu. Chai tea. Chai is tea, bro. Spider-Man India. <laughs> I thought that part was pretty funny. All right, moving on. <clears throat> I guess you're right. Anyway, we're worried. Okay, can we can we make an anyway counter? They say it all the time. <laughs> Let's say we're at like 11 right now. Let's say we're at 11 anyways. Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? Just like you. Shut! Shut! Thank you. That many? Okay, maybe not 11, but like... Maybe somebody can do a recount later. I don't know. It's pretty late, you know? I don't have anywhere else to go. This place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar? But you're underage, right? How did you know? You can read minds now, old man? <laughs> I have a daughter around her age. Wait, you're not allowed to go into bars when you're 18? What? Is that a thing in the States? What? 21? Oh, yeah! I forgot about that! I forget that it's 21 in the States. whoops -a doodles Yeah, in Sweden it's 18. It's kind of weird. You can go to a bar and order drinks when you're 18, but you're only allowed to buy things from the liquor store when you're 20. I don't really know why. So, you can legally get entirely drunk when you're 18. But don't you dare go in and buy some wine. In Germany is 16. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to stereotype there, but that checks out. <laughs> I think the whole of Europe is 18. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty common in Europe for it to be 18. Offended German noises. Hey! Hey, all I know is that, like, 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 by and large, a lot of German people, they, they like their beer. North America just likes to be different. Hey, I don't think that waiting until, like, being 21 is, like, a bad thing or anything. I just feel like that, that's pretty far ahead. Like, if you're 20 and you're not allowed to buy booze... It feels a little bit overkill. I mean, there's so many other things that they- that are way more, like, dangerous than alcohol that you're allowed to do way earlier in America. For example, you can own a car and have a driver's license at 16. So, you're allowed to be in control of a huge hunk of metal going, like, God knows how many kilometers and hours on the road where a bunch of people are doing the exact same thing. But if you drink a pina colada, you're in trouble, buckaroo. It's a little bit weird to me. Like, am I the only one that thinks it's weird? Is that just me? You can buy a gun at 18. <laughs> wow. Okay. Drinking is bad for the brain de developing. I mean, yeah, but not everybody like overindulges in drinking. Uh, let's see what else is there. What what else can you do? Uh. can't think of anything right now. 
Vape? I, I don't know much about va vaping, actually. You can gamble? Uh, I, I, I mean, I guess, but gamble isn't, gambling isn't, like, dangerous to your health in the same way. Welcome to America. <laughs> voting? Okay, but voting makes sense. Have a child at 60? I don't, don't think that's... <laughs> I, I, I don't know too much about that, that, honestly. I know that 16 and Pregnant used to be a show, and I always thought that was weird. I guess there's marriage, too. Yeah, marriage. That's true. You can get a job at 14? That feels illegal. <laughs> There are war veterans too young to drink. That is majorly depressing. Yikes. <laughs> the world is a strange place with a lot of strange things that don't make sense, but hey, it's the only world we got. It's easy to translate what they say, especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop! It's exactly his job! Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel so much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? <laughs> of course. This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> what? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know! But a father yourself! Oh, right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss... Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. It's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. They learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. It wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Mm, nothing. You just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. And you gotta understand each other better. As much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom had also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot, but why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm the, only, well, the one who always ran away. <laughs> Using my job as an excuse. <laughs> I can confirm that. <laughs> yeah, I run here a lot. 
But yeah, I hate to tell you again, you both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. <laughs> I mean, I have my own in income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. I'm an adult! Checkmate, Freya. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. <laughs> you don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now? Now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But... You don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Town. Oh. That's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man, of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Ike and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Ike. Georgie is so thoughtful for this. Yeah, I know. Good guy, Georgie. And there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. I barely met my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand it. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go on a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know. I might end up with a chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So, yeah. I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. Hey, another day comes to an end. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Fresh and healthy drink from Morocco. Ooh, cool. I love these characters. The characters are great. I like them a lot. I get to do a lot of laughing in this. Laughing on command is actually kind of hard. It took me a while to learn. <laughs> to actually know how to laugh on command for the sake of acting. September 25th. Let's see. Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative. What? Hopefully that wasn't... That wasn't our guy. Wait, it's hard? I'm, it, it's hard to make it sound good. Like if you do a fake laugh, like ha 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 ha, obviously that doesn't sound real. But laughing on command, it, it takes a bit of practice to get right. I read that as furry sedative. Huh. Well then. 
least we know where your mind's at. <laughs> I'm joking. Let's see. The Orcish Workers Union in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra. <laughs> Questioned over their pro eco terrorism lyrics. What in the heck is that? I don't even know what that means. Oh, he's alone now. Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Where's Jekyll? Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming. Okay, so it wasn't him. Good. After his shift. Hmm, it's pretty empty in here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our, when obviously there's only you here. Oh, I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself at the, as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. Oh, come on. <laughs> Didn't you think I was serious? Oh. Nah, give me the ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Okay, green tea. Green tea. Uh... Ginger. That's a lemon. I'm an idiot. Let's reset that. Ginger is there. Okay, very warm, very bitter. Do, do we double it up? The accent, though? Okay, I don't even know what accent I'm doing. I'm just doing, like, fake, sort of British. Whatever... Whatever Carrie Fisher was doing in the first Star Wars movie. Ginger green tea. All right, let's serve. Your drink is ready. Let's see. Good. I'm glad you like it. Uh, by the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work. Yes. For a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? <laughs> Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... Mm, what's the word? Something as honorable as that. Hmm? Then are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In that case... In case that's what was... Eh, in case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se. But definitely not as honorable as working in the hospital. Then what is it? Guess. You travel a lot? More or less. You befriended a startup founder? So I assume you either have your own startup, or you work in some kind of investment agency. Hm. I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I am a model. I didn't expect that. But you do have the looks and the figure. So I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products. No way. Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. The skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears. That feels offensive. Which makes us, uh, basically, a bunch of good-looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? I feel like that's false advertisement. I guess that's why it's a secret. Hmm. Scam! <laughs> Isn't that... Again! What? 
<laughs> That's like twice now. <laughs> it's like, isn't that word for word what I said? Ugh. The barista is basically just you. I guess so. Oh my god, my nose is like itchy. One second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. Ugh. <laughs> Don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 50 years. Wow. Was it 50 or 30? I don't know what I just read. I just kind of went on instinct. I think it was 30. I just said 50 for some reason. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person if you can. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just here trying to make this place a little livelier. If you don't mind, right, sir? <laughs> no, I do not mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. <laughs> you could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. Hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. It's just my default state. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, 12. What are we talking about? We're talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what's your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling. That's a long time. Not for me. My current liaison in the clothing brand... Mm. In the clothing brand I work with... Is uh, the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually, I work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck in need of a warm drink. So brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Warm and sweet without coffee, you say? How about some tea? Let's see. Let's just do tea. Let's get some honey in there. And maybe some ginger. Nah. Hold on. Let's see, what am I feeling? Maybe warm chocolate? No, it's not warm at all. Uh, warm and sweet without coffee. Hmm. Maybe tea and milk? And then some honey? Uh, no. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe just tea and double. Uh, this is colder. Okay. Let's just, let's go with this. I think this should be, should be good enough. Let's brew it. Let's see what we got. Honey tea, all right. Hopefully this is to your liking. A warm, sweet drink ready. Nice. A perfect drink to end the day. Glad you like it. So, you're a writer. Yes, I work for the Evening Whispers, but I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Uh, it's complicated. You should wait until she finis finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she, that is if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. Hmm, so not fantasy or sci-fi. Hmm, I'm still not sure. Probably it'll be normal slice of life. You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. 
And probably put some more surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. Heh. <laughs> Sounds a bit racist. And that's the twist. It isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine, even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. <laughs> I assure you of that. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what-ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Oh, that got real. Oh! Welcome back, Lua. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, I was just having a drink. Yeah, boy's doing a lot of talking. By the way, I haven't checked the social media at all. So maybe I should do that. Let's see. Rachel. Birthday 29th of February. Oh. Oh, no. They ch Rachel at x.com. Does... D d do they know? Do, do they know? Are okay. Yeah. Hyde, supermodel. Birthday, 8th of February. Vegan vampire, professional model. Ooh. Self summary. Part of Los An Lost Angeles. Oh, Lost Angeles agency. Old enough, sti yet still seeking the truth and purpose in life. Hmm. Okay, so Rachel just has a really boring bio. Bailey's. Ooh, very artiste. Let's see, August 10th. A freelance designer and number one pumpkin, pumpkin spice fan. All right. Let's see, October 2nd. Ma. Vegan vampire? Don't worry about it. Let's see, Gala. Also, not, uh, September 13th. Nothing. And Georgie. Let's have a look. June 1st. Born and raised in Seattle. A lactose intolerant cop. He has a proper, proper profile. Favorite things. Movies. Police University. Cop story. Robert Cop. Okay, so... Uh, police Academy, I don't know, and Robocop. What, what, what's the what's the middle one? Cop story. Which one could that be? Police story? Oh, it's police story! The Jackie Chan one, right? So, Police Academy, Police Story, and Robocop. Okay. Let's see, what am I doing with my life? Father of three beautiful girls. Aww. I like Georgie. I can see why he's popular. Rush Hour? No, 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 not Rush Hour. I'm, ta I'm talking about the police, police story. Like, it's actually what it's called. Let's see, Freya. Birthday, 29th of January. Writer for the Evening Whispers. Talks about mundane things, art, and about life in general. Wow, she has a pretty extensive one. My self-summary, journalist and short story writer. You can read my surreal and weird short stories in the evening whispers. Idolize and aspire to be someone like Gil Naiman or Maruki Harukami. I probably pronounced that name wrong, but whatever. Favorite things, coffee, coffee, and coffee. In case you didn't get it the first time, I'm a big fan of Naiman or 
is Neyman and Harukami. So there's that. What I'm doing with my life? Working as a journal journalist, because it's the best way to learn how to write better. Talk to people who have experienced more than you and get paid for learning things. Hmm? What are we what are we what are we laughing at? What 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 are we laughing at? Swap names? Oh Oh, Giel Nyman, Neil Guy. Okay, I get it. I didn't. I, I didn't even. <laughs> my stupid. My stupid ass didn't even notice that the letters were swipped, swipped, swapped. I can't talk today. Not me mess messing up switched and swapped. Switch swap. Swipped. <laughs> I kinda like that though, swipped. Swiper no swipping. You goofy goober. I'm a- Ooh, I'm a goofy goober that just dropped his phone. Alright, let's continue. Hi everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please, meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, I just finished a meeting. I needed an escape from my co-workers. So I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He is free to do whatever he wants. She is angry. Is everything okay? <sighs> to be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good idea. Thanks. Look at me, breaking the tension. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing. Sorry. A cup of green tea latte, please. Uh, some new stuff in the brew pad? Oh, I got cough syrup. Here for a sore throat. Oh, great. Neat. Yeah. Okay, green tea latte. How, do you, how did I make that uh, now again? I forgot. Let's see. Uh, green tea and milk milk. My favorite. My favorite type of milk. That's milk milk. Uh, boom boom. Let's brew that boy right up. All right, let's let's try some latte art. What do, what do we do this time? Hmm. I I I. I th mm. Would that work? I don't know. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I like that. Okay. No, actually, uh, lip, uh, reset. No, can do that better. God, this is hard. Why does it go like that? It's so askew. Okay, let's try this instead. Let's try etching it. Nope, that's horrible. Man, this is reminding me of when I drew the thing for the for the pen collab. It took me about as <laughs> this is basically what I did because I am not an artiste. It's just try try again.
Okay, I'm just gonna try to shape this into something. And then... Uh, uh, uh. It kinda works, kinda works. Maybe, perhaps. I'm, I'm trying to do like the... The cat face. Oh wow. <laughs> hey, it's not perfect, but... <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> Your green tea latte is ready. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why. But I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious. But I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, how about Bayliss? He is, has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Oh. Who, who are you texting? You're texting a lot. I should apologize for the commotion that we caused. And please, don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Oof, awkward. Sorry, Hyde. Bailey's is, um... Or was, I, I don't know. What, what do you mean, was? What do you mean, was? No! What do you mean, was? My boyfriend. We had a, a... A little fight a few days ago. About what? Is, is it okay for him to just ask her like that? But tell me. Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus, and he's an elf. Mm, the usual racial problems, then. Let's show some manners, old man. What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's alright. Bethes and I have different views on the importance of family. My family's pretty close, and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, I've, they fear that I'll be treated like a... Uh, like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. And they can be cagey at times. I get it. And for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising. That his family would disagree with the relationship. Aww. <laughs> Love isn't real. Okay, that's a little bit <laughs> doom and gloom, don't you think? You don't sound like most succubi I know. Oh, did I miss Haka? Uh, Haka? Hi! What's up, boy? How's it going? I thought you were legit making coffee, but in instead I got f good. F I got feels, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I, dude, you should have seen. My latte art has not been on point. It's a good thing I'm not actually making coffee. Would have been a disaster. Also, Haka, how do you how do you take your coffee, my my dude? What kind of what kind of coffee dude are you? I'm a I'm a chai latte person myself, which I know isn't like coffee coffee, but it's the closest thing. Mm, usually milk and vanilla. Sounds bussin'. I, I approve of that. Oh god, my, my ear itches. It seems like a lot of people are on your side too. <laughs> yes! Good old yes. Alright, moving on. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? 
He said we should just keep going. Just same as we have been for the last 10 years. 10 years! So you've been together for 10 years as a couple. And he's suggesting that the both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years... That was without familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want a relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. <laughs> What's the problem then? It's not that simple. Will his family disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you even if he has to leave his family. Yes. Problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. It's not that simple! I don't want to be head re held responsible if he regrets his decision one day. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lula. Did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes. No. Maybe a little bit. I didn't think we, we would get this far. <laughs> From what I can see, you're the problem here. Whoa! Hide! You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him, family, family approval. If you're asking for racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Baileys? I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be so selfish, because I can't do the same for him. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Hopefully you guys did not hear my stomach just screaming at me. I'm very hungry. Well, that is difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not even, not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are. Not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No, they always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy godmother would suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is the best for you. Pretty simple. I... <sighs> I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away. But thank you for the advice. Take care in your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye! You were super harsh, old man. <laughs> but you agree with me, don't you? Well... <sighs> Didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself, anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Is that them? Oh, there he is. Hey, Gala, let's go. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts. Harshly. To someone that needed it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks tell me about what happened. 
What are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it was? Or what it is? Sure, I should try mixing the ginger with, with tea? Yes. Tea, ginger, and I'm not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. You'll know when you get it right? That's so vague! Ugh. Okay. Tea, ginger, and then what? Uh, you will know when you get it right. Lemon, maybe? No, my need for specific instructions. That's me, baby. That's me. Uh, you'll know when you get it right. Okay, let's brew it and see what we get. Ginger lemon tea. Let me start over. Uh, let Let's see. Oh. Full on Maha. Uh does anybody speak French? Let's see. Lover of the bright moonlight, believer in a life without a fight. I'm a pretty big fan of art and poetry. So what okay, so what does this say? Anybody? I'm kind of curious. Is fringe real? Now, that is a excellent question. Is fringe real? It's a French poem? Oh, okay. Mm. Can confirm, as a French, French is not real. Hmm. Ike, can you try and pronounce it? Absolutely not. Let's see. Working 9 to 5 in a trading company by day, going to poetry readings and museums on the weekends, enraptured by the forbidden fruit. What does that mean? You'll know when you get it right. What does that mean, my guy? What does that mean? Honey, maybe? No. Milk? Maybe? Ginger milk tea? Nope. Okay. I'm hoping it's gonna say, like, remedy on the thing. Let's see. There's a lot of combinations here. Uh... Uh, 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 okay, he, 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 I recall him saying that he wanted it to be bitter, but with not a lot of caffeine. Or just a little bit of caffeine. So, maybe, maybe lemon is the way to go. I'm, th I'm thinking that might be... Hmm. Uh. I I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Hail Mary it. Hail Mary. All right, let, let's see. Let's see if this works. Oof. No, I got an achievement called serve the wrong drink. No. Ah. Hmm. 
I, I, I'm, <laughs> you were too ambiguous for my stupid, stupid brain, sir. I'm sorry. The tea has been spilt. You can redo the day. I can. Oh, I should have saved. No, 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 no. Save game. J just so I don't lose everything. Is this the French kissing a cat? Oh, so you can read their stories here. That's neat. That's cool. Ah. Here's your drink, sir. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm a hundred percent sure. This is not the remedy I would need. Let me try brewing another one. Oh, thank God! Wait, <laughs> please let me redo it! No! No! Uh, whatever. I'm more interested in the story anyway. So, tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. Alright, so there's this girl. can redo the day? Should I? Should I redo the day? Oh, thank God. Uh... You want to restart the day? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. If it bothers you... <coughs> I'm just worried that it's gonna affect my ending or something. Okay, we got that. Oh, I can probably fast forward. Okay, so what was it? Ginger tea. Make sure it's warm and bitter. So let's just do that. The post changes. <laughs> What? Did I mess it up? What? Why am I so bad at video games? Oh, we go again. We go again. Uh, is this what the, why they keep me? Is this why you guys keep calling me boy failure? Okay, ginger green tea. Learn how to read, Ike. I thought this was gonna be a chill game, but here I am sweating it up. We... Something warm and sweet without coffee. Okay, I recall just, uh, I did this, right? I feel like this is what I did, like honey tea. I feel like that's what I did. All right. Let's see. Skip ahead. All the relationship drama. Why are you being sweaty in every chill game, Ike? Because, listen, the grind never stops.
green tea latte. Uh, I remember that. That was over here. Let's see. Oh, that's cough syrup. Green tea latte. It was green tea milk milk. Here we go. Uh, let's skip the latte art for this time. <laughs> Ike Evelyn, my favorite boy failure. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Skihime, thank you very much for the super chat. In the French poem, your soul is a chosen view that will charmingly mask and dance. Playing the lute, dancing, and almost sad underneath the their fantastical disguise. Hope this helped. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Tuskaroo for the translation. Here we go, argument. Now we just wait for Mr. Big Dude. Alright. You'll know when you get it right. What do you want from me? See, ginger, ginger? Is that it? I don't know. That's a lot of ginger. Hachiwashi Hachi-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Wait, hold on. Is this a review? <laughs> Did you just leave a review? Save first. Oh, you're right. Save. Oishi kofi ga nomeru ii hmm? ii mise desu. Tenchou-san mo yasashiku fuin <laughs> what? You give me four stars because I got the order wrong? What? I'm leaving. What is this? Not my chat dropping a four star review. Four? Four? <laughs> Dang. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I guess I deserve that. I guess I deserve that. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's so funny. That is- <laughs> that's actually so clever. You did get the order wrong. I know! This reminds me of when people in offline TV was giving Skara so much crap for his uber rating score. Because apparently he was like at like 97 or like 96% approval rate. And everybody was like, bro, what are you doing? Are you a bad, are you that bad of a passenger? And he was like, what? What's, what's your deal? Better than three, but not as good as five. But it's, it's like kind of when you, when somebody says like, oh, I'm so pretty. And somebody says, eh, six out of 10. Like... It's still above, like, you're not, you're, it's still above average. You're still giving them an above average score. But the fact that it's just like, oh, it's slightly above average, like, it, it hurts way more than saying, like, something like, like a two or something. It stings way more when somebody is like, eh, six out of ten. Hmm. It's like calling you mid. Exactly. It's basically mid. <laughs> I, I I will do my best. I will keep fighting for that fifth star. Okay, can we make a deal? I, if I figure out his order, can I get my five stars then? <laughs> Have I earned it? Does that, does that sound like a fair trade? Okay, that, that's enough people saying yes. There's a few naysayers, but there's 
There's more people saying yes. Okay. So let's have a let's have a gander. Okay, let's try the the double ginger tea. What do we got? It's just ginger tea. What do you mean you'll know? What do you mean you'll know? I don't get it. Uh, okay, so it's not the lemon. The lemon was absolutely not it. Uh... Me... No, not, not chocolate. Obviously not. Just keep brewing? Maybe. Tea, ginger, and then what? Milk? Surely not. Is it... I feel like I already did this. It's just ginger milk tea. It's the exact same thing. No, it's milk tea. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, maybe then. Maybe. Let's do something silly for the latte art. Um. And what, what's something fun we can do here? Hmm. Order matters? What? So if I do milk before the tea? No, that no, that doesn't work. Tea, then milk before the ginger, maybe? Is that? Oh! Oh! There it is! Okay! He was right. I would know. Let's try this one. Thank you, Ike. This might be it. Yay! Five stars! Let's go! Are you sure? I'm not 100% sure. But please, make note of this in case of an emergency. Will do. Okay, now I'm ready to hear the story. So tell me what happened. <laughs> Five stars! Made the correct order this time. Hey, think about it. Hear me out. Let me brew. So. I reloaded my save. So, technically on this save, in, 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 if you think about a save as a timeline, and if I reload a save, I am technically going back in time and fixing things. So, on in this timeline, on this save, I have yet to make a mistake because I reset. So, think about that. And I'm allowed to do this. I have I've experienced time shenanigans before. So, I, I, I am more than qualified to do this. Stop with the copium! You guys never let me have any fun! I can just imagine a pile of quildren, like, nailing a sign into the ground that just says, No fun allowed. Let's see. <laughs> Rova, thank you very much. <laughs> and Hachiwashi Hachi-san, mata arigatou gozaimasu. Saiko no omise desu. Mata, mata kimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ichi, thank you very much for the five stars. Uh, Kawane, thank you for the five stars as well. Here's your five star, Mr. Barista Ike. Thank you. Tai, why, why did I get one starred? This cafe deserves six stars, and this is six. Okay, thank you. You you saved it. Loki, thank you very much. This barista is very nice, and I finally got my order right. So here's a five star back. Here's your fifth star. Thank you very much, Faye, and you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cringe fail, Mars. Thank you. This boy can brew. Put pudding. Thank you very much. I come for Ikim and Barista. Where? 
Melinda Lin, thank you very much. Tencho san, tama ni chumon machigaere ru. Kedo, kawaii kara daijoubu. Thank you for the five stars. <laughs> Raya, thank you very much. 4.9! A save point so you don't get too proud. Okay, sure. Whatever. <laughs> I'll, t I'll take 4.9. Most things are 4.9 4 anyways. It's kind of like, you know, you know when you have the choice between something that's five stars in terms of rating, and then there's one that's like 4.9 or 4.8, but the five star is based on 50 reviews. Whereas the 4.8, 4.9 is like... 2500 reviews which one do you pick i always go for the 4.8 4.9 with like 2500 reviews okay see see you guys get it you guys get it Don, thank you very much with great coffee a cute manager and the right order, this cafe deserves five stars. Thank you! <laughs> Yoko, thank you very much. Here's the fifth star, which is the rock star. <laughs> Thanks. And how do we? Thank you very much. Came for the latte, stayed for the barista. Aww. All right. Let's get into the. We, we, we talked about coffee, but now it's time for the tea. All right, so there's this girl. That's about it. Hide. Oh, hide. You never change, do you? Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now. Dude, uh, honesty is good and all, but... You know, try not to be a dick. Listen to her, hide. She's got a good point. Ugh. <sighs> Not you too. I was a bit surprised though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. <laughs> you do know me. We've been friends for years. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does have a special kind of magic. Not exactly a good magic. Judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right. But there are better ways to say what you had in mind. Anyway. Hey! That's another one. I've got to go. It's so soon. It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care in your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to get and to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously. I thought the story from Freya was enough. To fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was. Something, indeed. Hmm, you said something about being my friend for years. Yes, why? Do you ever wonder what we'd, we'd be like if we haven't met? Or hadn't met? What do you mean? Forget it. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Ike. Thanks for the evening. The pleasure was mine. Bye. <laughs> Not you guys bringing out the popcorn. Ooh. The t <laughs> Here we go. The tension. <laughs> Just eating. <laughs> I keep getting review super chats. What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to end the day? <laughs> sure. Ginger latte. Warm energy 
boost perfect for a cold evening. That was a yawn and a stretch at the same time. Saturday, September 26th. Atlantic countries plead for landfolk to send help instead of trash. Opinion. Who watches the Watchmen in Seattle? Hmm. I see what they did there. Cats are the best creatures on Earth, research has proven. Okay. <sighs> Welcome. Oh. Oh. Um. Welcome? Uh, sh sh should I filter this? Maybe not. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir? Ah, the usual earthling linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Um, I is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. You wanna order anything, sir? Oh, yes. We have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm. <laughs> Among us! <laughs> Wait, oh, I, I wish I could remove the text box. Why? Why is he doing the, oh, the, 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 the little the little pointy thing? Hold on, hold on. Where's my emotes? <laughs> we will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is all right. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Everything is the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order... Anything. Anything? Anything. Anything. <laughs> Alright. In that case, is that what? Oh, cinnamon. Uh, all right. In that case, if you want anything, maybe, maybe nothing but chocolate powder. Oh, it's just dark chocolate. Um, I want to do something kind of weird. I'm feeling weird. Oh, I gotcha. Some chocolate. And then two slices of lemon. Lemon chocolate. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Let's serve it. Your drink is ready, sir. <laughs> Hope it's to your liking. Don't worry. It will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. Um... Yes. Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? That is a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organs to drink. We use appendages to drink. Usually a... Polyproline? Polyproline drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Pardon? 
It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. Ah oh, yes, the suck pipe. Got it. You mean a straw? Yes. We wonder why Earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Your plastic stick apparatus was also provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the bi biggest single-use po pollutants on your planet. Ooh, don't call us out. Anyway. Hey, there it is again. How do you dr how do you drink with a straw? The same way we just did. But thanks to that plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making process. Uh, yeah, probably. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where'd you come from, sir? Far. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what Earthlings call a female. Aren't we all? <laughs> and then? Okay. Breed. So you came from a place far away to find a date. Date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. N n no, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. Wait. The music right now. This is Debussy, isn't it? Yeah, this is Cl uh, Claire de Lune, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. That's cool. Uh, okay, but no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. And I don't think I'm understanding the joke. Date. Fruit. Like, expiry date? Oh, it's a kind of fruit? I did not know that. <laughs> uh, I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. So tell me about it. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So, how's the mission so far? Not good. We're using this uni unique communication app application. According to our data, it's the biggest source of breeding interactions on Earth. Although, the success rate of breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I never heard about... Wait. You're talking about a dating app? Oh no! <laughs> They got here. They got here and started using Tinder, didn't they? This system uses a fire symbol as a sign. <laughs> you are talking about a dating app, but again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application. It requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. Um... <laughs> not someone saying smash or pass. 
when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence an introduction to the breeding process. <laughs> it didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. What? They said some words that cannot be considered proper. I... I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad. Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. But some did. Yes, but we can confuse with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings. Even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone? Yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe Earthling... Maybe each Earthling also has different interpretations of time. You're right about that. Poor- Not you guys saying poor guy. You're trying to get- You want this space person to get laid? Good evening, miss. Wait a minute. Yes, they are sweet. Why not? Yes? Okay. All right. In that case, I will take a page out of your book and let's make sure that the, the space person, person gets his date. Good evening, miss. Good evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte, please. You got it. As soon as I remember how to make it. Coffee and double milk. Okay, so on the off chance that this, this, this is their date, let's try to send a subliminal message. Mm, how, how would I do that? Uh. Among Us? Oh, you're right! Among Us! Okay, okay, let's do that. I feel like I should be able to do Among Us. Oh, that's a lot of milk. Uh, okay, hmm. Maybe I'll start with, like, a blob? This is hard. God, how does anybody making anything with this? Okay, we're getting somewhere. Kind of. Maybe. Gotta do the backpack. Right? There we go, there we go. That's good enough. 
There we go. Okay. Subliminal, subliminal sussy. Let's serve it. Your order is ready, miss. Thank you. How is it? Good. I'm glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. Oh god. Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Oh, okay. Um... Um, excuse us. Yes? Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes! I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Okay, whoops! I guess, I guess we just kind of... Uh, gave a sussy to someone that isn't waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But, is your name... Yurik High 69 Oh my god. Is this guy sane? Please par pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. So... You have not answered our question. Are you Yurik High 69 No. My name is Myrtle, and I never use Yurik High 69 anywhere. Oh. You really are not her. Of course I am not! Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something. But we don't have any friends on Earth. He's failing, oh my gosh. It's not even her! Hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up until now, they're not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting. But when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> uh. Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. Hmm. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. It's okay. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm. That was... We are a pretty objective people. But somehow Earth's v vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. Has this happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But it might be a sign that you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed? The most complicated strategies, in fact. Are they gonna hit it off? Are they gonna hit it off? Your kind never ceases to amaze us. If that is the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you'd like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. 
Please, just call me Ike. <laughs> thank you for your time, Ike. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called norm, by the way. Uh, the, the, the breeding norms. Although you can also use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay then, we are off. Take care in your way. That was weird. I still don't know what their name is. Freya, you missed some stuff, let me tell you. <laughs> you you missed you missed some stuff. I'm just gonna call the Moon Man until further notice. <laughs> Girl, we got tea. <laughs> oh boy, who who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. What was an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Laika the dog? A date from a dating app? I should have been here! What does that, their date look like? And the date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit before going on a date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common. And doesn't have to be literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like Englishmen in New York alien or alien alien? Alien. What does he alien? Outer space? Probably. Or dimensions, I don't know. Wow. Like, super wow. I mean... <laughs> I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but... Wow. Life is never boring here. That's what I'm, why I'm writing about it. Oh, yeah. How's that going so far? The writing? Yes, the writing. With a capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? Uh... Freya... <laughs> What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So, you were planning to show it all along? <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. But, it's the first presentable draft anyway. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. Alright, alright. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? Um, it's okay, Freya. <sighs> Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? Hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. <laughs> That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. You have a prime example standing right in front of you every day. Prime example, you? You're like the most mysterious person I have ever met. I get that a lot. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Huh. 
sorry, I, I forgot to speak. Um. <clears throat> oh yeah. Welcome. Would you like to do? Uh, would you like to drink here or take away, Miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding? Yeah, I'll order right away. No need to hurry. Take your time. Hmm. Is it okay if I order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like. As long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case, you know masala chai? The tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order masala chai pl then, please. Mm. Tea with spices. Uh, is it ginger and cinnamon, maybe? Your type is so obvious. Shut up! Anyway, spices, cinnamon and ginger. Let's see if we get it. Nope, it says cinnamon ginger tea. Oof. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna save for no particular reason. No, not the main menu. Resume game. Let's see. Uh, tea. Does chai have milk in it? I feel like it does. Maybe this? Let's try this. Maybe? Ah! Not quite. Okay, maybe cinnamon first then? I'm bad at this! Uh, okay, so that is not working. Maybe it's not cinnamon. Maybe it's ginger? I don't know. <laughs> Spices. I mean... Should be one of these two, right? Th those are the ones that are like... Didn't I try this already? Or, or did I do it the other way around? I don't know. I'm just going to try it. Oh, let's go! I believe this is the drink you were talking about. <laughs> From the look of it, I think so. Let's give it a taste. This... Is it bad, miss? Oh, no. It's really good. It just brought back some memories. I hope they're good ones. Oh, they certainly are. Certainly are. Huh? <laughs> She's really cute, okay? Where were we? The main character? The character feels very you. <laughs> you bet. If the reader knows me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? Sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. Ah, the self-insert. <laughs> If you say so. Um, s sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Boy. Are you a fiction writer? <laughs> yes, I am. That sounds so cool. 
Well, yeah, but I only write small-scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Or non-fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know? In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Hey! Wow. How many books have you written? <laughs> well, this would be my first book if I finished it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer. This game... Th th this is... This is targeted harassment. I, I don't appreciate what's going on right now. <laughs> but conjuring words is hard. <laughs> I'm a writer. And even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. <laughs> a lot of people have said my vocabulary is uncommon. <laughs> what do you do? What's your name again? Oh, pardon me. My name is Aqua. That's such a lovely name. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. And the barista here is Ike. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. God! Mmm! What, what is this? What is this? Why? Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? <laughs> Thanks. You said you can't write, but research papers still need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. It, but it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. God! <laughs> oh, this is so bad! This is so bad! This is... This is actually really embarrassing. The fun... Ah! <laughs> Moving on. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh, my. I forgot you were a journalist. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to worry so much about everything. It's all right. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes? You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? Myrtle? I... I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did, did you read it? I did. It's pretty important for the project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Okay, now, now, now you get up and you walk past Freya and you sit next to her. Please and thank you. Oops, I'm sorry. I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. <laughs> Don't be. It's so nice when you meet someone who likes the thing that you worked on. I know the feeling. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way. But you already knew that. My name is Myrtle. Uh, er, what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further. But if I could ask for your business card or something. And me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queries through your department's con contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh, yes, that, <laughs> that happens a lot. The form sends queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a while, a bit to respond. And pardon us for that. Of course, I should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but... Um, we can swap email addresses if you want! Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. 
this Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about. Is this the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals. But I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way. And some stories can only be told through this medium. Yep. Very, very true, which is why we will never see a near replicant anime. And I'm very sad about that because I know that they would just be like, ah, oh, it's not gonna work. And FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. You play video games? <laughs> well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art, art games. The type of games you might see in an art gallery. <laughs> really? That's weird. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play arty games are gamers that have got bored with the current state of video games. That's true. I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence, a lot of the players are not quote-unquote gamers. They're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. It, sorry, I rambled on for too long. But at least, that's what I think. <laughs> good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play those types of games thanks to people I hang out with. <laughs> yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know? Nailed it. So, you understand my point about the adap adaptation, right? Kinda. Anyways, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, uh, what, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. We can walk into the bus stop together if you want. Oh, I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Ike. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. <laughs> you take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. That was adorable! That was so cute! I hope we get to see the more of those two. That was so good! I loved that. So... Yes. That was a nice talk. But you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. And I could see that you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. <sighs> Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? <laughs> You're mysterious, that much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expression you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Oh no, <laughs> it really is me. Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short, and I will be really honest about it. Mm. Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Lemony Snippet. A fortunate tale in a cup. Hmm. That's actually kind of neat. Uh, okay, I don't know. How long is this game? Any of these drinks you want to be, tr uh, you want to try? I, w I would be down to try it. Really long? Really? It's pretty long. Okay. I thought we were like nearing like an ending or something. You probably need to finish into a stream. Okay. Kind of long. All right. If it's long, then maybe, maybe we should call it here for today and, and pick it up at a later point. 
Not even close? Okay. Well, if you if you say so. Let me just drop in here and drop a save. And we'll, we'll call it for today. See, research found that most fury sedative on the market are not safe. Let's see, more is Lester from slum to, to glam. Pajama clad 27 year old actuary found his tick hmm? found decapitated on his own bed. What in the heck is going on in, in Seattle? Oh, you're already here. Save game. All right. To the main menu we go. I'm really liking this so far. The characters and the art are, oh, so good. And I actually like the dialogue quite a bit. I like how it flows. I love, I like how everybody has their own sort of vocal quirk, for lack of a better term, that you can p sort of pick up on. And there's not as much of that, <laughs> like, it, I, I don't sense that Marvel kind of writing that I've been seeing in a lot of games as of late. So that was also a welcome change. <laughs> okay, let's go back to somewhere a little bit more familiar, catch up on the Super Chat, and we will all be on our ways. Hello. All right, let's move this over here, clean things up a bit. There we are. Okay. Very comfy game. Very comfy game indeed. Love that. Oh, goodness me. Oof. And I'm not used to talking this much. <laughs> Let me just have another sip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we are. Like so. Alright. What did you guys think? Was that nice? Was I was I able to to provide the comfy vibes that this game is supposed to uh, invoke? Who's your favorite cut and character so far? I mean it was pretty blatant blatantly obvious that <laughs> Aqua struck a few chords. Yes, thank you for the stream. We want part two. Oh, part two is absolutely going to be a, be coming up. Freya. Freya is also cool. I like I like her vibe. I like Freya a lot. She's the fact that she's a pretty consistent, like reappearing character that shows up more or less every single. Uh, what I call it? Every every single day, I'm I'm very ha um, happy and thankful about. Myrtle seems so chill. Yeah, like Myrtle didn't say a whole lot the first time, so I wasn't sure what to make of her. But when she came back and st started talking, I was like, "Oh, okay, nice, let's go." I also really like the dynamic between uh, uh, between Hyde and. Oh god, what was his name? Starts with a G. Gala. Right, Gala and Hyde. I, I, I like their dynamic quite a bit. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Uh, hello? Why, why is my... Why is my scroll do not working? What the heck? That's weird. Hold on. What? I can't scroll. Why? Why can I not scroll? Oh, I guess it's just my chat being weird. Oh well. It is what it is. No, never mind. That means I can't scroll super chats. Okay, well, we're refreshing. There we go. Fixed it. Oh my god. My foot is itchy. Well, we're weird, so don't say that. You guys are not weird. I love Sussy Sussy Among Us. That that guy, man. 
I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't quite know what to say. On one hand, like, he, he, the way he talked about it seemed innocent in a weird way. And that kind of makes me want to root for him. He was very open about like, oh yeah, I'm here to breed. But like, it was so innocent and like, clueless about it that I was just kind of like, you know what? Like, I, I hope that works out for you, man. <laughs> Moon Man is so, <laughs> yeah. Moon Man, the funny man. The finger touching power too strong. I know. <laughs> he doesn't know the norm. Don't you don't you mean the strategies? <laughs> it's all about the strategies, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong guy about this kind of stuff. All right, uh, there's a lot of super chats coming in, huh? You guys just been laying in wait. You didn't want to you, you were just soaking in the vibes and the moment it was over. It's like, all right, here we go. Super chat time. All right, let me go back to the beginning. So I make sure that I don't, didn't forget anybody. Let's see, where's my text? Where's my text? There it is. Okay, let's see. Tong Tong Joey, thank you very much. Happy Ike Day, love you. Thank you very much. Yes, it is indeed Ike Day. Dika, thank you very much. I'm so excited to see you play my all-time favorite game. Hope you enjoyed. Also, greeting uh, greeting you a very happy Ike Day. Thank you very much. Uh, Taiyu Lin, thank you very much. Ebony Serenade, thank you very much. Hey Ike, love this game. By the way, uh, my partner's sibling cosplayed Sakura Miku for our local Christmas pageant. Enjoy the coffee game. Thank you very much. And that sounds awesome. What? Sakura Miku based. Kimari-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Ii aiku no hi, omedetou. Arigatou. Let's see. Jashanet, thank you very much. Hi, Ike. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, I'm feeling as good as I can. It's just very dry air and it makes my nose very stuffy. Unfortunately. So, like, uh, what I probably should do is, like, get a humidifier or something along those, along those lines. If it, if it, would, would that make my, my nose feel less, like, crappy? <laughs> Shirty, thank you very much for the five gifted. Yeah, that helps a lot. All right. How much how much are humidifiers? Are they expensive? I've never I've never had to use a humidifier ever before except for in Japan. Let's see humidifier. The five best humidifiers of 2023, all right? See how much? Are, how much is? Oh, okay, that's not terrible. I thought it was gonna be way more than this. They're pretty affordable, but a humidifier feels like it's something that you should like splurge on. Like you, you, you should you should get one of the nicer ones so that'll last you a while. Where's the Christmas decor, Ike? It's November already. Exactly. It's November. <laughs> Let's calm down. It's still November. I don't care what Mariah Carey tells you. You want a larger or a smaller one? Probably a larger one. Hmm. Kind of amazing, really, how Mariah Carey has discovered ba what is basically a real-life infinite money glitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. 
she's thawed and ready. Yeah, I love the fact that she made a reference to <laughs> the she's defrosting. I feel like a lot of people, especially celebrities, can get sort of fed up with certain jokes that people make about them. Whereas others are just kind of like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna roll with the punches. And I, I, I like that Mariah Carey is a good sport about it. She embraced it. Yeah, like if there's a meme about you, embrace the meme. That's the best thing you can do. Can't beat him, join him. Exactly. Like Christmas cover getting released in my dreams. I don't even know what I would sing for Christmas. Oh no. <laughs> maybe I maybe I will sing Christmas uh, Christmas I do like that song a lot. <laughs> but I've already sung that. Yeah, I love that song too. It's so good. Natsukashi. Yeah, it's great. It's so nostalgic. You sang Padoru in 2021? I sure did. I sure did. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll roll up on Christmas and be like, Nani ga Merry Christmas da. <laughs> and just rant about how lonely I am on Christmas Eve. I would love to hear you sing Tended Use. God, I haven't heard that in years. Holy crap. Who said single hell? Yeah, that, that's how the song goes. Single hell, single hell, single all the way. Uh, could you guys excuse me for a little bit? I need to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. just do I have enough room to walk off screen here uh I do okay I'll be right back We I return, hello. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let me just move myself over here a little bit. It was so fun to watch you do lat latte art. Latte art is also very cute. Happy Ike Day. Thank you very much, Flower. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> yeah, but latte art is very clearly not my forte. I'm already bad at drawing, so drawing with even more <laughs> even more restrictions. This seems like it's a recipe for disaster. All right, let's continue reading down the super chats. Let's see. Uh, Crystal, thank you very much. Haruka, thank you very much. Uh, 
Mona Kanse san, thank you very much. Rova, thank you very much for the mue. Melinda Lin, thank you very much for the mue again. Eh. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, five, pon pon san, thank you very much. Yoko, thank you very much. Nichitsuji, thank you very much. Mwe 2.0, Shinisho Wen. I don't know. I don't know how you can improve on perfection. Uh, use, thank you very much. Uh, hello, Aiki. Do you know, every time I drink coffee, I must add sugar. But the only time I don't need it is when I'm watching your live stream. Happy Ike Day. Damn! That's a good one. That, I'm impressed. That's a pretty good one. I'm not, I'm not even mad. That's pretty good. Let's see, Aoi-san, thank you very much. Coffee dai des, thank you very much. Uh, Ventus, thank you very much. Hi, Ike. I'm currently working on making a VN fan game for Luxium, and I'm wondering on your unique scenario, is there anything you would like for it? Oh, God, there's too much to choose from. There's too much to choose from. Hmm. I mean, it d depends what kind of, what kind of VN it is. Is it like very story focused? Is it... A, a like uh, is it meant to be like an otome game or like what what kind of approach are you taking to it? Just uh, I don't know. Let your imagination run wild. I think that's when the best writing happens. So let your imagination run wild and uh, uh, try not to get my character too wrong. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm just joking. I'm just jo just joking. まじっすかいいっすね。まあ、えっと、あんまりできないですけど、まだ勉強中です。あ、それにしてもいつもなんか日本語のコメントがあるなら、なんかいつもなんか返事してるのことを頑張ります。はい。日本語上手なのに、あ
Sinella, thank you very much. Hey, Ike, today is my birthday, and I just wanted to wish you and the Quildren a great day. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you very much. I am, and happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful time. <laughs> I don't know why I made that noise. I felt like it. Let's see, Dan Chen, thank you very much. A new girlfriend, a new friend. Hey, listen, that's the thing you gotta understand. Like, you can you can think that somebody is cute and just like have zero, zero interest of like, like, oh man, I really wish that I could ask them on a date or anything. Or like, I, I really wish that they were my girlfriend or like, we really wish that they were my boyfriend or anything. Sometimes you just look at a person and go, damn, they're cute. God, they're adorable. Anyway. Exactly like that. You can acknowledge that and not have to want, want to put, uh, pursue it any further than that. Okay, I'm glad that we're all on the, the, sa <laughs> the same page. <laughs> oh no, not me adding to the anyway counter. Whoops it, AC. True, I saw this random person. I was like, damn, they cute. Exactly. Happens many times. Let's see. Uh, Anne, thank you very much. Coffee Yaoi and Yudi. Uh, or cough and Coffee Yudi. Wow, that was hard to read for some reason. And also a cute barista. This game is great, bro. Thank you very much. I know. Let's see, Xing, thank you very much. Happy E Aiku no Hi. Today is my birthday, and I'm happy that I can celebrate my birthday with Ike Day. Your streams and singing always brightening up my day, giving me motivation to pull through in busy uni life. Love you, and thank you for being you. Thank you so much, and happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful time. The fact that some people are having their birthdays on Ike Day, let's freaking go. Hmm. Hmm. What happened to my BGM? There we go. Jesus, that was a long pause. I'm gonna have to trim down that sound file. I hate how long that break is. See, SEN, thank you very much. Hey Ike, today is a special me for today since it marks my 16th year as a single mother. My my sons are 26 and 22. Can I ask for some words of support for both myself and others who might uh, be going through similar st struggles? I don't know if I can offer any level of support, but because... I'm just so impressed because 16 years, single mother, like, hats freaking off. That is, that's crazy. That's awesome. 26 and 22, so you've been with and, and these guys for quite a while. You've been with your boys for quite a while just on your own. And the fact that 16 years, you made it that far and you're still going, my, my, I, I tip my... Hold on, let, let, let me bring up my hat. I tip the hat that just materialized on my head in respect because, good lord, that is, that is commendable. I have so much respect for that. And, hey, like I always say, if you made it this far, then you can go the distance. Especially, like, 16 years, you have this stuff down on lock. So, major props for that. You, That's an incredible achievement, and... I I really wish that were more people like you in the world. Thank you so much for sharing that. And keep at it. No matter what happens. Both for you and your boys. And anybody else that might be struggling and trying to, you know, I don't know, ra raise, raise a kid. Or de dealing with it being, like, alone and trying to support yourself. Know that no matter what happens, your boy is always rooting for you. There's a blue novelist out there just sitting there, crossing his fingers, wishing you all the very best. God, that put me in such a good mood. Like, wow, like 16 years, single mother, like, damn. Noth nothing but respect for that. Oh no, I missed the whole stream. How was the game, Mike? It was, it was pretty damn good. I can't wait to continue it. え、
いいアイクの日が自分の誕生日ですごい幸せです。え、そうなのもしよければ、えー、お祝いしてもらえると嬉しいです。えっ、ー、と、予定があるので、そろそろ寝ます。お、コーヒー代ありがとうございます。そしてお誕生日おめでとうございます。そしておやすみなさい。いい夢を。I hope you dream of like cakes, cakes and stuff. That's good for、uh, birthdays, right? <laughs> thank you very much for the super chat and thanks for stopping by after so long. Z, thank you very much. And here's a small tip for the very cute and kind barista that made this night wonderful and comfy. Looking forward to the next visit. Thank you very much.、Uh, Aisha, thank you very much. That was a good chill stream and your VA made everything more great. Thank you so much for the stream. No problem. Thank you. Hello, thank you very much. Howdy, Aiki. Howdy. Just came to say before my sister gets here, I got my first job recently. It's my second week. It's McDonald's. Lemma. Hey, the thing is, I don't look down on that. I know that there's a lot of people that are just kind of like, like, oh, like, if you don't do something, you're going to be serving fries at McDonald's. Hey, Mac- I, am, I think that McDonald's is a great opportunity because there's, it's a good way to get references and experiences. And people like, that are looking at CVs when like, hiring for other places, if they see that you worked at McDonald's, that's major props in a lot of places. Hey, a job is a job. That too. A job is a job. Like, like get that bread any way that you know how. So, congrats. I hope that, like,、uh, you have a good time at your workplace, that you manage to make a bunch of friends、uh, with your workmates, and that there isn't any workplace drama or anything along those lines. So, fingers crossed for that. And yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful time during the time that you are working in this location. And when you're moving on to a different one in the future, perhaps. I wish you all the best, and I hope that I, if, if we're lucky, the actual reference where you say, Hey, I worked at McDonald's for so and so amount of time, that's what's gonna get you into an even better paying job. Nowhere to go but up. Need to start somewhere, get experience. Exactly. Absolutely. I was going to work at McDonald's at one point in my life, but it didn't end up working out because. For what it, it was like, the location itself was kind of. How do, how do I put it? In disarray, maybe? It was, very, it was very unorganized. It was difficult to get a hold of anybody. And eventually, I just ended up giving up on it because like, they, they weren't being very communicative and, and,、uh, and things along those lines. So I, I, just, I just assumed that I'm just chalking that up to the location itself. And sketchy? Not really sketchy. It was just disorganized. It was one of the、um, locations that you usually find. Like, like I, ho- I would have to travel quite a bit for it. But not that I minded, especially during the summer because I had a bike. But it was quite out of the way. Usually, where you would like sort of stop along the side of a road or something along those lines. So it was kind of secluded. And I guess they didn't put a lot of their A team on there or whatever. Something along those lines. But honestly, like, I've, I've been there a few times since, and、I've, the people there are nice. It's just that sometimes they get the order wrong, but that happens anywhere. It's, it's more about that location than Swedish McDonald's in general. And I also th-、uh, remember there was a video on YouTube、uh, from a guy called, I believe his name was Shun. And he talked about his time working at McDonald's in Japan. And he, he talked about various things about,、uh, like, oh, I worked at,、uh, there for so and so amount of time. Here, here's some of the stuff that happened. Like, here, here's what、uh, people think about certain things, what people think that, that are actually behind the counter. And he talked about how, how he really didn't like a certain menu item, several menu items, in fact. Apparently, because it, like, like a few years back, There was a promotional campaign in Japan, a Japanese McDonald's, where they said, like, we will serve you in one minute. And if we take longer than that, we will give you, like, a free coupon or something. And I just imagine that that must have been stress, stressful as hell. They literally had, like, an hourglass that they turned upside down and they had to have the order finished. After that minute was up. 
I think it's fun somehow. I probably wasn't for the workers. So they got they got rid of that pr pretty quickly. I can only imagine like not only would was it probably awful for the workers. I also imagine that like there was a lot of menu items that got prepared in that one minute span of time that were not properly prepared. Like the, you cannot cook the burger fast enough. Yeah, he he had quite a bit a bit to say, and when people ask like, why why did you stay? You were there for quite a while. Oh, you want to know why I stayed for that long? And he just like he looks in the camera and just goes, "It's because I had a crush on one of my senpais." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, Fa uh, wh whatever floats your boat, my dude." <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> it it is pretty cute, yeah. And then he talked about the how. Uh, on the Japanese menu, there's like the the smile for zero yen. It's just a cute way of uh, um, of saying that they'll, they'll provide service with a smile. But I, I imagine that a lot of people are just like, you know, like, hey, can I get can I can I get a smile? Can I get an Elsai smile? Hmm. I freaking love the smile thing. I imagine that the workers are kind of tired of it, though. And then he just showed, like, let me show you what it looks like when one of the cute employees who's a pro does it. And then, like, they, it's just a video of somebody like, oh, can I get a smile? And the person like, oh, would you like your smile to go? And smiles to the customer. And then he just goes, zo zooms in on his face like, now can you see why I stayed? <laughs> I wonder, can so somebody confirm to me, on if you order uh, McDonald's on Uber Eats in Japan, do does the menu have have smile on it? Does the Uber Eats menu have the smile for zero yen? I'm kind of curious. Does anybody know that? It seems like no. The answer is no. Okay, makes sense. I'm inclined to believe that it doesn't. It would be funny, though. It would be funny. Mobile order ni smile aru. Aru? Uber ni nai kido. Mac no app ni wa smile arimasu. Eh? Ijan. I'm so glad. Okay, so it's not an Uber. It's not on Uber Eats, but it is on the McDonald's app. Wait, there is? Okay, <laughs> awesome. I'm so glad about that. I love that. <laughs> the more you know. Maybe some people can go go searching after after the stream and be like, hmm, time to get to the bottom of this. I got super sidetracked just because of McDonald's there. Let's see. Feast! Thank you very much. Hi, Ike. I just wanted to thank you for all the good wishes regarding my recent surgery. It was a success, and thankfully, I'm home recovering now. Thank you and everyone for all your support. Let's go! So happy to hear that. I wish you a speedy recovery and hope that you're back on your feet before you know it. Uber ni aru yo. Oi! Aru? Nice. Okay, so it, it, apparently it is on Uber too. So you can order a smile for zero yen. Awesome. <laughs> Faye, thank you very much. Otsaiki, I'm glad you're enjoying the game. It's so relaxing that it made me sleepy while you play it. Also, happy Ike Day. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Prince Violet, thank you very much. Thank you for such a chill, quiet stream while I recover from another illness, illness flare-up. Oof, hope it goes away soon. You always come through. Happy Ike Day to Luxium's Angel. Luxium's Angel? I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel very angelic, but thank you. Thank you very much. Tamane, thank you very much. Otsuaiki for the comfy coffee talk stream. Add hot cocoa and caramel milk. Caramel milk tea. Drink while watching. Aqua is my favorite too. She's an octopus girl, by the way. Also, happy Ike Day. Thank you very much. I figured as much. I figured. I, I did see the tentacles and everything. 
Cringe fail Mars. Thank you very much. Yeah, happy Ike Day, Mr. Silly Novelist. You brood. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Eh, Kinoko-san, arigatou gozaimasu. First spa, arigatou gozaimasu. Eh, I'm looking forward to Ike's coffee talk. Thank you for your stream. Good, uh, good Ike Day. Ii Ike no hi ni... Haishin, arigatou, tasukaru. I love Ike. Thank you very much. Thank you so much eh, for your first super chat. Spacey, thank you very much. Thanks for the cozy stream. Caught a cold and I'm trying to rest my voice, despite my job answering phones. Oof, that's rough. E Ike Day, thank you very much. Hope you feel better soon. Shirty, thank you very much. Happy Ike Day, also happy birthday to myself. I'm a happy quilt and thank you very much. And happy birthday, hope you have a wonderful time. Not a, not a lot of... A lot of people having their birthdays on Ike Day. Let's freaking go. See, Chi Chi Chu, thank you very much. Tyler, thank you very much. Hey, I'm Carlin, thank you very much. Happy Ike Day and World Toilet Day. Oh yeah, I did see that. Anyway. Uh, Pleiades, thank you very much. Long time no see. Uh, thanks for the cozy stream. It uh, really is the perfect game to have while waking up and pre preparing for the day ahead. Thank you very much. That looks a bit of a uh, one since I saw a super chat from you. Thank you very much. Nice to see that you're still around. Uh, one, two, five, pom -pom thank you very much. Uh, let's see, how do I read this? Natsume Midori san, arigatou gozaimasu. Otsu Aiki, i Aiku ni hi, saiko. I love chai latte, it's so good. Let's go! Fero fellow chai latte enthusiasts. Uh, Ichi, thank you very much. Hmm? Itera. Oh, pfft. Itera. I, 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 I see what you did there. I get it. I, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad. I get it. Let's see. Chris Chung, thank you very much. Thank you for the stream. It's over 12 a.m. in my time zone, so it's my birthday now. Would you hit, wish me a happy birthday? Sure! Happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful time. <laughs> That's so... Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad that <laughs> I didn't think about that. Let's see. Moving on. Itera <laughs> Tensai. It's, yeah, it's so silly. I don't get it. Okay, so when somebody goes to the bathroom, you usually say Itera or Itera Sai. And because there's this meme how I messed up uh, Oterai and uh, Otera. So instead of saying just Itera, like regular Itera Sai, it, they wrote it as Itera with the kanji for temple. So yeah. Uh, I'm never living that down, am I? Kyoto, itte kuru, itte da. Ah! Ah! I'm being bullied! Uh. Where was I? Okay, uh, let's see. Flower, thank you very much. It's so fun to watch your la latte art. The latte art is also very cute. Thanks. <laughs> Yoko, thank you very much. I really like this game. The story is interesting and so comfy. I was enjoying my coffee while I was watching the stream. And Merry Christmas. I mean, Merry Evelyn Day. <laughs> thank you. Yana, thank you very much. I fell asleep at the beginning of the stream because of your soothing voice and just woke, uh, just woke up. Hate being sick, but it's more bearable with your streams. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you feel better soon. As a Nihongo learner, I'm so glad I got it. Dude, I know the feeling. Whenever you're learning a language and you hear something, whether that be a sentence or a pun, and you get it, you're just like, ooh, I feel smart. Mm. There we go. Let's see, where was I? Uh, Melinda Lynn, thank you very much. Uh, Cecilia, thank you very much. Happy Ike Day. And also, happy World Toilet Day. <laughs> Why is everybody congratulating me on World Toilet Day? I don't like that. Don, thank you very much. And another congrat- <laughs> Let's see. Anna, thank you very much. Happy Ike Day. Thank you. Uh, Haruka, thank you very much. Caviar Toast Day. Thank you. I'm gonna have some caviar toast after this in your honor. Let's see. Lucia, thank you very much. 
Oh, Psyche, it doesn't matter if the Goffy you gave, uh, gave me was what I ordered, uh, but, but it was. It's just your boy's cute smile and seeing that you're working hard. I'll give you five stars. Also, happy Ike Day. Thank you, that's so sweet. Let's see, Mintaka, thank you very much. A perfect way to end the day. Barista voice is so comfy. Order is fixed, and latte art is E. Aqua is cute. Welcome again, five stars, happy Ike Day. Thank you, that, that's a good review right there. Ugh. Why is that an actual day? There's a day for everything, I feel. There, there's days for the most innocuous of things. Hold on, let, let, let me let me actually look. What, what are some weird holidays? Weird holidays. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay, January 1st, Z Day. Don't, no, no idea what, why. January 2nd, thank God it's Monday Day. Uh, January 7th, National Pass Gas Day. Why? January 10th, Peculiar People Day. Uh, okay, let's sk skip a few and see if we can find something. Uh, January 12th, Kiss a Ginger Day. Uh, January 13th, National Rubber Ducky Day. Uh, what what else do we have? Hold on, do, do we have one for my birthday? Where's June? Ah, oh, dang. Okay, so... No, none for my birthday, unfortunately. There's only like two in June. June got shafted. May 22nd is apparently Talk Like Yoda Day. Mmm! Very obscure holiday, that is. Alright. And let, let's go back to reading Super Chats. <laughs> Mm. Talk like Yoda. Yeah, talk like Yoda. Everybody knows who Yoda is. <laughs> that was good. No, it was not. <laughs> My Yoda is very, very crap. Let's see, where was I? Uh, uh, Wildcard, thank you very much. Uh, remember that episode of the regular show with the sentient coffee bean? that squirted coffee from his breeze and said coffee all the time? No? I actually haven't seen regular show, but that sounds wild. Wild card, if you will. Hey! <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Ren, thank you very much. I just wanted to say happy Ike Day, and no matter what, you're always a five-star boy to me. Thanks for the comfy stream. Thank you! Maura, thank you very much. Me looking at you this entire stream. What? Oh, I, this was probably in context to something that I said right before you sent this. Oh, I don't know the context. I feel so sad. Let's see. Zihu, thank you very much. I saw Black Lab in a maid outfit today. Very cute. How do you put a Black Lab in a maid outfit? I mean, sounds interesting. Thank you very much for the super chat. Ash Storm, thank you very much. I just wanted to share some good news with you and all the Quildren. I got accepted into my top college and I got a major scholarship. Let's freaking go! Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Spacey. I think it was about cute people. Ah, <laughs> you got exposed, Maura. Oh, okay. I know, I know what you're talking about now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see. Mi Iyo, thank you very much. Happy Ike Day! I Ike no I Kofi Dai desu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Sureshi. Uh, Feast, thank you very much again. Thank you and thank you everyone for your support from before. Uh, oh, this is the same thing as uh, earlier. Thank you very much. Let's see. Yuri, thank you very much. Hey Ike, happy Ike Day. Thank you for being you. Have a nice stream. Thank you so much. 
Uh, Leo Shadows, thank you very much. Otsaiki and happy Ike Day. I was looking forward to this stream and it did not disappoint. Very cozy along with your nice voice. Thank you for the stream. Thank you. Spacey, thank you very much. Yes, I'll take one S-sized smile to go, please. That's a small smile, just a tiny smile. Okay, I I'll, I'll give you a tiny smile. There you go. It's a quick, tiny smile. <laughs> uh, Chunyao, thank you very much. Hey, Ike. Next week uh, will be quite a tough week, which I'm pretty scared of. If it's okay, could you give me a few words of encouragement? I may not know exactly what's going to happen next week, but as long as you make time to take a breather and sit down, calm down, and allow yourself a little bit of leisure, then I think that's you're going to be able to pull through because those are the times where you recharge your batteries. And hey, if you have somebody around that's willing to give you a hug, maybe that. Hugs are very energizing, in my opinion. Maybe that's why I'm so low on energy sometimes. <laughs> Limited edition tiny smile. <laughs> very tiny. It's not like I always smile, because, like... I'm a very smiley dude. It's very hard for me not to smile. <laughs> Let's see... How do I read this? Ishtan, maybe? Like, ich Ishtan? I, I see Z10, I don't know, but thank you. Uh, Tiff, thank you very much. Hi, Aiki, and happy Aiki Day. It's my birthday in a few days. Could you wish me a happy birthday? Happy early birthday. Hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Uh, waiting, thank you very much. Aiki, I passed my midterm exam. I want to share this happiness with you. Thanks for the stream. Let's freaking go! Midterm pog. So happy for you. Hmm... Mm. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Sana, thank you very much. Aiku kun, konbama, konbama. Saikin, Sweden ni sumu kazuku no blogu o miteru no desu ga, rakka toyu ichigo no jam ga totemo oishi so deshita. Aiku kun wa tabeta ko, tabeta koto arimasu ka? Maybe I'll recognize the design of the of the jar. I don't actually look uh let's see. Oh, let's see here. Oh, okay, I know, I think I know what this is, maybe? Yeah, 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 okay, I know what this is. Uh, I have seen this, I never had it, but it's not it's strawberries. It's, I believe it's cloudberries. So yeah, in, Swed in Swedish we call, um, we, we call uh, cloudberries jutron. Maybe there is like a. I'm I'm looking for like strawberry with the Laka brand, but I can't find it. So I think it's cloudberries. Uh, but to answer your question, no, I have not. I've not had this. I actually have haven't really had m cloudberries in a very very long time. Cloudberries, yeah, cloudberries. So it's it's a very, a very Swedish thing. I've never seen these, like, people making jam out of Jotron, or I mean cloudberries, anywhere else in the world. I even remember a, a really old, like, edutainment game that was on certain school produ uh, computers that was about, like, gathering a bunch of berries and making a cake. And depending on how many berries you gather, like, the bigger the cake would be. Cranberry wa chigao, 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 chigao. It's 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 not cranberries. Okay, let's see. Cloudberries. Let me let me try and see what is that and what, what that is in Japanese. Maybe it's just like cloudberry. Let's see. Let's see. Is there a Wikipedia?
Okay, uh, let me just switch this to Swedish. Make sure that it's... Yeah, this is this page. Let's see. Do they have a Japanese page? Come on, Japanese, Japanese. Let's see. There we go, Nihongo. Okay, so apparently it's called Oromui Ichigo. Oromui Ichigo. So that's the kind of berry it, that it is. The more you know. So that's the kind of jam that it is. Hajimete kita oishiso. Yeah, like it does it does look very, very good. Like I've I've never had it myself, but I know that there are plenty of people that love it. Alright, moving on. Thank you, Sana, very much for that. We we learned something new today. Uh, Ichi, thank you very much. I've been pretty sick recently and I can't stop coughing. I wonder if Ike Puppet can <laughs> cast a spell for me to recover. <laughs> Happy Ike Day. Uh, sure, let me let me just switch this around a little bit. So, just imagine that this is your Ike Puppet saying this. Pain, pain, go away! There you go. <laughs> Hope you feel better soon, Ichi. Let's see. Yustina or Yostina. Thank you very much. Hi, Ike. Today's my friend's birthday. Can you say happy birthday, Kinsley, to her? She'll be really happy to hear that from you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Kinsley. Hope you have a good time. Iris, thank you very much. Natsume Midori-san, thank you very much. Oh my god. Saki no spachato. Yao, thank you very much. Happy Act Day, thank you for the comfy stream. Harumi, thank you very much. Thank you for the stream as always. Finally got a raise at work and now I'm on a two week vacation. Oh, two weeks vacation, that sounds awesome. I'm on my way to evening coffee with friends since your stream put me in the mood. Let's go! Nice, get that bread! Uh, Mintaka, thank you very much. I searched JP and apparently June 12th is Koibito no Hi. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, Janice, thank you very much. Happy Ike Day. Talking about coffee, I just remembered my friend described a cup of coffee tasted aggressive. How does something taste aggressive? I do wonder. Maggie, thank you very much. Hello, Ike. Happy Ike Day, and thank you for today's stream. It was really cozy and, well, <laughs> Taskaru. Hmm? Was it? W what was Taskaru? Anyways, Aqua is really cute. Th th that she is. I think most of the cast was pretty cute. I, would, I will say that, like, um, uh, Gala was pretty, like, a lot more... Like, I would I would say that his mannerisms were kind of cute, but, like, in appearance, he was a lot more... I don't know, bear-like, if that makes sense. May, thank you very much for the five stars. Five stars for my favorite novelist. Thank you for the stream. Otsaiki, happy Ike Day. Thank you! It tastes disrespectful. That's also a sentence. That is a... V <laughs> That's a sentence and a half. Himbo-ish uh, vibe? Um, not really himbo. He's very bada. Bada is a good way of putting it. The next time I'm drinking something that I don't like the taste of, I'm just gonna say, say they taste like disrespect. It means girlfriend day for anyone confused. Not necessarily girlfriend, it's just like... Like, uh... Not really couple day, but like, it basically like... Romantic partner day. Lo, <laughs> thank you for the one gifted. And uh, that being on my birthday is, um... I have mixed feelings about that. 
But it is what it is. Like, would it be okay to call you Pookie Bear? You can call me anything you like. As long as it's not, like, mean or anything. Like, it, it, there's, there's few things that I object to being called. Like, I, I've been called, like, uh, like, various nicknames. I've been called Ikey Wikey. I've been called Boy Failure. I've been called uh, the sweetest sweetheart. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody call me that in a while. I don't know if people still say that. Um, I've been called a cat. I've been called... Not that. We, we don't talk about that one. Uh, smart cookie. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I've been called Kuya Ike. I, I'm called Ike Kun. I've yet to ha hear anybody call me, like, like Ike Tun, because I know that some people, they, 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 they sort of whenever they talk about me, for whatever reason, they talk about me as if I'm a girl. <laughs> And I'm not offended by that, by any stretch of the imagination. I just don't uh, know why. Like, there's so many times I've seen pictures just like... People, like, posting pictures of me, and they just all go, My wife. This is my wife, or this is my girlfriend, or or something along those lines. And I'm just like, okay. Like, I, I, I'm just rolling with it. You are very gender. There's that word. That's another thing that I've been called a lot. I just keep getting called gender, and I still don't know what it means. The mue guy. I'm, I'm okay with that. I like being the mue guy. Let's see. Lumiera, thank you very much. Good morning, Ike. I just woke up. It's 8.30 in the morning for me, and I just saw that you were streaming Coffee Talk, one of my favorite games. I'm sad that I missed the gameplay, but now i got something to look forward to today. Thank you very much. Hopefully, you'll be able to catch that VOD. Terian, thank you very much. And Spacey, thank you very much. If anything is okay, can I call you mine? What is with you guys today? You smell no hito. I forgot about that. You smell no hito. I, I love me. I love the fact that there's some people that know me as that. Good times. <laughs> That's a good way to disarm a pickup line. But yeah, that was the last of them. Thank you all so much for coming. And uh, I'm going to go and have myself a little bit of a relaxing, I don't know, chai latte or something. I'm going to see if I can get any place that delivers. Okay, thank you all so much. And I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye-bye, everybody.